Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, Justice League issue number 37. This was surprisingly good, all right? There are two huge splash pages right in the beginning of this book, and I'm just like, oh no! Wow, that was good. Okay, okay, I see what you're doing, I see what you're doing. That was excellent, man, that was gorgeous. All right, we got Scott Snyder doing the writing, George de Menez on art. This issue is called Justice Doom War Part 8. Alejandro Sanchez on colors, Tom Napolitano doing the letters, Francis Manipole on the cover, Tony S. Daniel and Tomio More doing the variant cover, baby. Okay, uh, basically you've just got these two teams, Justice and Doom, going against each other. And yeah, Justice has a huge advantage, but the main Justice Leaguers are trying to do like a kumbaya session, to draw, and some of the uh, Justice Society members doing a kumbaya session, holding hands, trying to do a seance and get the Ouija board uh, disc thing to move. Anyway, and they're trying to get the totality to change from doom to justice. I see what you're doing there. That's cool. That's cool. But they're having a hard time doing it. What they need is Hawk Girl to come on over to actually genuinely help them out. Okay, I see what you're doing here. There's a whole lot of interaction and back and forth, and there's just a huge battle. And like this, bruh, this whole series, these 37 issues, plus um, uh, Metal, you know, Dark Knight's Metal, plus what came in between that, um, what the heck was that called? Whatever that was called, the four issues, uh, No Justice. All of these have just been so high adrenaline, fast paced that I'm just like, I get exhausted. I, I, I look at the comic book on the shelf, didn't even open it yet, and I'm already out of breath. Like, dude, this is, oh, it's too much. And this one was even more over the top. Is that a bad thing? No, I'm going to say it's not. This was, <laughs> this was a fun, because I think I'm just so used to it by now that this is the insanity that is my life in the Justice League anymore. And it's like, okay, well, if we're going to go, you know, full lunatic, let's go full freaking lunatic, all right? You can't say that word anymore. It's not cool. Even when um, Robert Downey Jr. says it in blackface. <laughs> Tropic Thunder. If you don't know what I'm talking about, the movie Tropic Thunder. Anyhow, <laughs> like, oh, wow. Okay, so um, aside from that, I really only have one I told you so, I believe, because there's, there's a lot that happens here, man. The Anti-Monitor kind of gets what's coming to him. And I dug this. But a lot of people die here. Uh, we get a planet thrown at the... Well, everybody. Uh, yeah, the Perpetua decides to actually throw a planet at somebody. I, I, I thought this was so over the top. I'm just looking at this like, oh, she, you know what, whatever. Why not? You know what, why not? Honestly, why not at this point? Let's just do this. And the only thing Flash is worried about is, you know... My car going to come back? Okay, I knew I should have gotten the insurance on it, man. I knew it. Actually, John Stewart should have gotten the insurance, right? But here's my I told you so. Anybody else see The Mandalorian? Yeah, all four of these episodes, and everybody's thinking the same thing I'm thinking. Where's that sweet merch? They've been saying that merch is coming. All of a sudden, we got it revealed now. There's going to be a Funko Pop with Baby Yoda. If you want to check out my reviews, I call him Yiddle. If Disney does not choose to name him Yiddle, well, screw Disney, all right? But, yeah, they're going to make a pop of Yiddle. <laughs> I'm going to call him Baby Yoda. And they're also going to make this little plushy thing. Not a plushy, but like some kind of a doll. I don't know, maybe it's a plushy. It's a doll inside of a, a, a container that actually looks like the baby stroller thing. You know, the floating baby stroller. Hold. And that's just the beginning of it. You know, besides the fact that they, they actually throw it out. The heavy Mando, you know what I'm saying? And they got the actual Mandos. Like, they get all this sweet-ass merch, man. And I've been saying for a long time, yo, DC, why don't you all be smart and put out that merch for um, for uh, Baby Jaro? Didn't listen. Ain't on it. Book's about to end. I said, you gotta act, you gotta act, you gotta act. What happened? The window's over, man. There's a really cute scene in here. An even cuter scene with Robin all of a sudden uh, piping up. Because, you know, that's his real son. Not according to Jaro, though. Like... <laughs> Y'all missed out on a great opportunity. I'm just saying. It could have been a comic book store exclusive. Uh, or, or, or even, you know, just order off of our website. Something. Because I'm telling you right now, I would have ordered one. I undeniably would have ordered one. Now, 
I got to save up for this Yiddle merch. <laughs> you know, said the baby Yoda stuff. I got to save up for the Yiddle merch, babe. So, yeah, that, that ship has sailed. Uh, I told you so. And I'm out. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.